Hey, Mike the Disgruntled Mechanic here. Today I'm doing a little messing around, having a little bit of fun with the Modus Edge and with this snap on waveform simulation vehicle tool. This will help you with your lab scope work or your uh, multimeter work. Um, basically, what this does is it does what it says it's a simulation you can do a simulation of wheel speed sensor crank cam and then what you can also do is what's neat is you have a normal mode and then if you throw this switch while you're in some of these tests it'll give you a glitch so you can see the difference and you'll understand what you're going to be looking for when you're on an actual vehicle this helps get you familiar with the the scope or the tool that you're using with the scope and just what you'll be seeing. So we'll start out with something here and hook it up. I'll give you the number of this snap-on um, waveform simulator and uh, of course familiar with the modus edge or uh, the snap-on tool. So uh, let's hook this up and we'll do a test. So what we're going to do now, we're going to use the guide at component test when we do this, but what we're going to do now is we're going to hook up to the accelerator uh, pedal position sensor which is right here with the channel 1 which is hooked up to channel 1 in our scope and then we will hook the black up to uh, the little battery down here that says that it's ground so then what we're going to do is we're going to go into the guided component test and once we get into the guided component test this is a BMW. It is a 2012. It is the 328i engine, uh, 3.0 liter. So that is what it is. So then we will go into the engine. We'll scroll down. Throttle control system accelerator pedal position sensor and then we will go into the DC voltage test once you have that set up remember to turn your simulator on that'll help now we'll get a graph so here we are we can actually move the knob down here like we're actually going through the uh, positions on the sensor so we'll put it up high here then we're going to hit a glitch we'll put it in glitch mode now when it goes into glitch mode there you can see there's your glitch and there would be your problem as you were running this through its up and down glitch off and there you can see the glitch is off so and go through it with your speed sensor so that's one test um, I'll show you another test here so what we'll do now for the crank We went into guided component test BMW 2012 328i and the engine that it has. Then we'll go into engine, CKP sensor, signature test, and now it's on. And this is what a regular pattern would look like so let's stop this now we'll go we'll go we'll step try and step through one here you can see how all these are normal so you cut you know you come to that one then we'll go they're all or everything's normal it's all normal 
So then what we'll do is we'll restart it and we'll throw the glitch switch. I like just saying that, glitch switch. So now we'll stop it and we will, well right there we can see it. If you can see right here there's a difference in our pattern. Right there there's a difference in our pattern. So that's some of the uses of this waveform simulator and what I like is of course you can when you're doing it with this you know you can go in change your voltages see how that affects it change your time base see how that affects it so you get your best your best picture so like we were at 10 and we were at what 10 volts yeah so it's a pretty neat tool if you're just learning about your scope and how to use it which I am uh, to go ahead and do this so that's pretty much what I wanted to show I wanted to show the waveform simulator and some of the stuff with the modus edge of course you don't have to use guided component test but for me right now with my learning well that's the best way for me to do it okay folks I hope maybe that helped somebody uh, I find it really neat to mess around with and figure some of this stuff out once again this is Mike the disgruntled mechanic saying just remember if you can get somebody else to do it you're probably better off thanks for watching see ya